What's going on everybody? It's Corbman, and I'm back with another Halo Reach mod for the PC. This is my Kigyar Sniper mod featuring the amazing beam rifle. Not the shitty one, the amazing one. <laughs> and I'll show you why, because god damn it, the developers really fucked up one of my favorite weapons throughout the Halo history. So, back in Halo 3, it was probably one of my favorite weapons. It was just cool, you know, it was a sniper, it killed everyone in one hit, we needed, we always needed a Covenant sniper, there has to be one, you know. This is the OG one that I loved, that most people loved. So I tried to take the best parts of it and put it in the one in Halo Reach. I couldn't import the model, but, you know, it kind of works out. As you can see, it has the blue beam still. It also has the pink, uh, the pink exhaust on the inside with the plasma. I actually added that, and uh, I'll show you that in a second. But first, let's get let's get into the old map and the old focus rifle. So they went from the beam rifle to this. And this is not a sniper. It doesn't even feel like a sniper. It feels like a medium range weapon an elite would use. But you know, it works. It's functional, but it also uh, works in you know, close pr proximities, like medium proximity, and, uh, works in close proximity, too. And, I didn't even mention, like, look at this map. It makes me want to go to sleep. Now, look at my map. It's raining, because it's, well, waterfront. The other one looked like it was having a drought. I increased the turbulence in the water. I added a whole bunch of scenery. It's beautiful. You got night vision, the elite and Covenant Double Night kill. Vision. It's even on the scope of the gun. Well, that's actually in the game. That was already there. Um, but yeah, so again, old map. Boring, wants, wants to put me asleep. <laughs> it, there's not even water on waterworks. The focus rifle is not what I, what I expect from a Covenant Sniper. And yes, this is considered the Covenant Sniper in this game. There is no other one. It's what balances, you know, the weapons. But no, this is the sniper. The beam rifle is the proper Double sniper. Kill. They should never use the focus rifle for that. They can have the focus rifle in the game, but have that to combat and Double balance kill. the DMR and maybe the battle rifle or something like that. But Sniper's not as a sniper. Free. Because this is the proper sniper. And this is what happened after Halo Reach. So it's not bad. The beam rifle is almost like how it should be. But the sound effects aren't even there. There's no exhaust sound effects. Um, the, it's not even purple. And look at this HUD. This this HUD's terrible. I, well, it doesn't even look good. I don't know who designed it. Sorry. But they improved it. They made the beam better. They, they made the sounds good again. And that was really cool. I forgot that happened. <laughs> but yeah. The only problem is, is they still have the scope as green. But that is actually what the HUD's supposed to kind of reflect. But they made the HUD like it was in Halo 3, which is good, but the scope was wrong. But now, in Halo 5, they changed the scope to match the actual uh, HUD that you zoom into. So that makes sense. I do like this version. They got the beam right. The sound effects, pretty good. But even better, they have the classic. At least they did this. I'm okay with the sound effects and the beam on this game. I love the model. It's just a high res version of Halo 3 pretty much. They still have everything else the same. The pink plasma in the middle on top of it. So, I think my version might be my favorite. It has the look of the newer guns. You know, a little more human looking, the only side I don't totally like, but I do like the design of it. Um, the pink on the inside with the plasma, like I told you, and the bullets, oh man, they just really look like they do damage. They look intimidating, like the way they bounce and how big the, the footing for the plasma like impact is. It's just amazing. I love this version of it. I also made it purple. The gun's now purple, thank god. But, but that's enough of the beam rifle, so let's get into the actual gameplay of the map. So I'm just going to have a whole playthrough and just record myself, and you guys are going to enjoy it or not. So if you do, just keep on watching. If not, you can feel free to get this download going and uh, install it. And just remember to back up your original waterfront map. I'm just kidding, don't back it up, it sucks. I'm just, no, it's seriously, you could back it up if you want to play it online, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get right into this, guys. Extermination. You must not permit a single human to remain alive. Kill them all. All right. Set start to block on. 
So what's going on guys? This is the beginning of my mission. As you can see, it's not at the normal spot and I just wanted it to feel more like a campaign type mission or something like that. Um, give it that kind of feeling. You know, make it feel new and refreshed. And I love the way it looks right, right off the bat, you know, just the way you can see everything from here. Um, but anyways, so first of all, you probably noticed the HUD. The HUD, to enable that, you're gonna probably, you know, ask that if I don't tell you. Well, it's not in the game, it actually is a reshade layer effect. So all you gotta do is override the current one, which is just a default, you know, you're supposed to override it anyways, and I will give you that file in the description with the rest of the mods. Um, you're gonna have the map file, the layer for the uh, reshade, and then you're gonna also have the FSB file to overwrite the beam rifle sound. So to enable that, all you gotta do is throw it in the folder, open up, reshade and click on it that's it that's all you do so it's as easy as flicking it on in the game as a setting so it's not that big of a deal maybe one day we can get some real HUD but in the meantime it works great especially with the radar uh, this is the beginning area I have two paths and I kind of show that with the uh, lighting so these these uh, covenant lights that are just stabbed into the ground kind of guide you as you can see you go from, from here to here and then you got the one over here as well as over here <laughs> and from that you can you know figure out kind of where you're going if you didn't watch the video too thoroughly if you watch this video to this point you probably know exactly what to do now uh, but anyways I'm gonna go this way just to like you know just to show you a little more otherwise I won't ever you know cover this part so it goes two ways it doesn't matter which way I added this rock and what's great about it is if you turn around and look at it there's a light on it and that's just just to like kind of give you a hint that you can climb up it to, to get up here um, that's what it's intended for and I want you to be able to walk around these areas and snipe because that's what you're supposed to do um, you can play down there but you're a sniper you know I want, I want, I want you to actually behave like a, oh, like a sniper in, in some of this you know mission uh, as you run out of ammo, you'll probably have to go sca scavenge for some more or something like that. What the hell? There must be something in, in its way. Whoa. But yeah, um, I'm going to cover like everything though that I added pretty much. So you know what's going on. It's hard to tell sometimes if you haven't played something in a while. So first of all, I added all the stuff up here. <laughs> I added these buildings. They really fit this... Uh, place and stuff like that. I love it, right? Um, they got awesome uh, destruction. I edited the guns to all be purple, like they should be. They're Covenant. They were bluish violet purple before. I don't know where they got that scheme from. It looks like that's still in the in the darkness. I'll go in the in the light later so you can get a better look at how the guns and the ships look. You can actually see that the, uh, the Phantom's also more purple, like it should be. Um, at least, if it's a little too purple, you can let me know. I know sometimes pink can overwhelm people, but it's the Covenant. It's what the color, you know, it's the colors they use. Um, I added these amazing spotlights because they were in the files. They weren't enabled in the firefight mission. I'm like, why not? Why not? Like, they're so awesome. I threw this uh, pump jack up here because why is there only pump jacks down there, you know? This, this, uh... This night vision is so useful. It also matches your scope on your gun. So that works perfect. And you can even see the little blue guys see the scope on the gun if you look at it uh, closely. But yeah, um, you'll see stuff like this around, the little small wind, wind turbines. Uh, they were in the map file already and just simply added them to the map. And I actually swapped out uh, existing resupply capsules that you don't even use because you're not on the Spartan side uh, with those anyways so it's whatever what else do we got we got the old civilian uh, ship landed it got taken out by this big boy up here uh, landed they were trying to get this crane up trying to get it out pull all the water uh, fix it probably to escape reach and before it gets totally glassed as you can see, that's probably about to happen over here, too. So that's why you're kind of clearing out the, the uh, humans, and you're exterminating them all. You're 
you're that's kind of the goal for this. You know, that's what was going on at the time. Uh, you know, the Covenant thought these guys were really bad. They don't always stand there. Usually they come they battle with the with the dudes over there. You just kinda gotta engage more with them to get things moving, you know? The map is slow at first. It's not it's not actually as busy as it was in the preview all the time. It all it is when you start it, just not at the beginning. It shouldn't be that way at the beginning. It, the, the first few waves should be kinda like to figure out, you know, what's going on. And that's what I did. But it does pick up, so don't don't worry. You, you guys already saw it, you know. So let's just, you know, show some more around. You can pick up the other, you know, weapons. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's get something to kill these guys. The oh the sound, the sound on these guys is not all there. I need to fix that um in an update. I tried to already. I didn't want to inject the same sounds that are already in the game just to make them work. And that's not like a solution to me. Right now the FSB file you have to overwrite to get the beam rifle sound to work does not make anything not work. It, I just overwrote something pointless that you never really will notice, and you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to uh, shit. Those guys are intimidating. You don't have to like when you, okay. You got three files: the reshaped file, the FSB file, and the map file. You do want to back up your map file so you can play matchmaking. The FSB file you might want to back up to play matchmaking. I don't know though. I don't think so. Um, so, I would back it up just in case, but you don't need to keep putting it back every time you play this if you don't want to. Because the uh, gun will sound, this, the focus rifle still sounds like it does, basically, whenever you play other maps. It's only on this map that it sounds this way. Um, because that's the way I actually set up the beam rifle, or the focus rifle, on this map. So, yeah. Uh, you can use guns like this, but you're you're not really trigger disciplined this way, so you sh you shoot it like that. You don't you can't you can't you can't hold that shit down properly. It's 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 good though. I like that, and it is useful, but not as much as it you know. It's not powerful at all. You don't want to really use the human weapons. You don't really know how to. You're just a early on kickyar jackal. Let me push this ahead. Alright. I'm just gonna start killing everyone. Oh. The 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 guns they have, I made it, made it more of a plasma like a like the plasma grenade launcher um variant. They're more purple and they also they shoot three plasma grenades out. One goes down slowly as it's locking on to where it's gonna head, and then the other ones explode it and then it shoots in that direction. So it's pretty badass. Like that's why you see and hear so many explosions. But I love that. Like it, it's like a cool way for them to, you know, like, to actually hurt you and damage you. Because the normal, the normal things that shoot out are literally just con concussion grenades that also shoot the same thing out of the, you know, gun you can use. Which it should be a separate projectile that has it's a little more heavy at least, um, in my opinion. Because I don't, I don't like the way they were because they, they don't ever really kill the marines with the damage and the aiming but I updated the, the plasma grenades were great basically they make it so the covenant actually do damage as well <laughs> get shit done if you have any feedback or suggestions by the way this I love my mod I'm so happy where it's gone but I will be updating it still um, I'll update my first one first, but I will be changing this when I need to, um, so just let me know if there's anything that's like just ruining your experience or that would totally make you better. Uh, I, you know, I, I take feedback for what it is, especially if a lot of people say something, I will change it, you know. Just because one person thinks something doesn't necessarily mean I always will change something, but usually I will if, it, if you have enough reason back behind it. Um, I would love to update something uh, for you guys if you need me to. Reinforcements. All right, so I'm just gonna start killing people, get this, get this going, get get everything flowing the way it should be, so you guys don't, you know, exit out of the video and go to sleep. <laughs> Ooh, those guys, it's hard. I wish the elites highlighted differently in your night vision. 
It's kind of hard to tell what's going on with him. Whoa! Wow, I, why was, I swear that light was just on me. You saw that? I don't know. Maybe it's just my light. I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah, see? It's weird. Oh, shit. Okay, now this is when it starts picking up. When you see uh, hell start raining down. So this is your first ability, by the way. Uh, it's, it's the... It, it's more for... You know, stealth and stuff. You know, the camo is there, but I also put it in third person to, like, maneuver and see what's going on better. It's, it's just better. Holy f I'm definitely getting out of there. There are Spartans. So don't think they're not. There's definitely Spartans. It gets, it gets crazier. Um... That that man's lagging in a in a in a local game. That's crazy. <laughs> Maybe the lag wasn't lever lag. Maybe it was just rubber banding. It's just part of the game physics. I'm just kidding. I love the stun that these oh, these Spartans have, so they're not too OP. You can pick up rifle weapons pretty well. And you could pick this up, but it looks like he's used all the bullets. Oh, not! I got some more. Let's let's go. Uh, let's go light some guys up. Bye, motherfuckers! Ah! I love it. Stole their weapons. Use them against them. Splash. I don't know why he said that though. Ooh. Okay. So as you see. There are some hand nodes messed up. I tried to fix that with some suggestions. I think I'm gonna have to manually do it for each gun because everything I tried did not work right. Oh god. Ah, I can't melee! That gun has no melee! Don't try to melee. Ah! Okay. You know, it's not supposed to be too easy. I'm playing a normal. Don't judge me. I'm also showing everything off. Five lives left. Let's go over here. I should play as the uh, hologram next. Uh, you've already seen it, but I haven't really talked too much about it. Alright. One movement and you're off. The auto aim isn't too great, but that's fine. I mean, it's how you would want it to be. Sniper spree. Double kill. Sometimes there's geometry in the way. Or maybe I just didn't hit him. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got going on over here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you you can go over here. The water is kind of thin. It's you know, it works, but it also doesn't work if you go too far out. I didn't put invisible walls any everywhere, like and everything to prevent you from seeing that. I wanted you to have more freedom since it's mod and not like a real game. I mean, it is a real game to me, but you know, I took away the soft barriers because you're a sniper. I didn't want to adjust them. That would be a lot of work and I could if I wanted to really polish this thing up for like a real release or something like if the devs wanted me to like share it in the game somehow more. <laughs> I could do stuff to make it more restricting, but as of now, I don't really see the point in that. Okay. I don't know where they are, so let's go in there. See, as you clip through the top, it, you can see through it a little bit. That's gonna happen, no matter what. Pr pro probably. I might be able to make some minor adjustments to that to improve it. Oh shit. I got some allies, but I don't know where they landed. I think they're behind me. Oh, here they are. We got the Brute Team. Brute Task Force. They got concussion grenade guns. They're, they're so fun to watch. People, uh, people use these things. They just behave hilariously. They work way better when they're not coming from phantoms. <laughs> In my opinion. See? <laughs> you saw that? I don't know what just... It's just it's just cool looking, I don't know. The way they beam past you. I, I, I increased the global illumination on the map so it's more bright and colorful. Like Destiny. 
that's the one thing I love about Destiny. It's bright, the, the HDR, the color, the darkness, the brightness. Oh, it's amazing. By the way, that might be my next mod, a Destiny mod. Or a Skyrim mod. Okay, like, it's weird. I know, I know. It's, why on Halo? Yeah, I know. But, like, I'm trying to go outside the box for my next mod. And then I'm going to go back to the Covenant mod series and finish everything else up with that. I just didn't want it, you know, for the more fun players that are, just like to fuck around, you know? that That's what this next mod's going to be, but this mod's for both. You can fuck around on this, and you can take it real serious, because I did balance it pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah. That was the most badass team. Yeah. I would stick up to the uh, sniper nest, as you see. Uh, you, you work better up there. Ah, I should have waited to snipe them both. You know, that's the best thing is that ever when you get a two for one with a sniper. Now that shit is crazy awesome. Oh, yo, I freaking bam bamboozle myself all the time. Every time. By the way, if you want a tip on that, shooting that stuff directly at them helps a lot. They always try to punch it, shoot it, but if you just shoot it randomly, they might not even, like, acknowledge it. They're not super dumb, but they're just dumb enough to tease. Just like this guy, watch. Yep, see? Alright, I'm gonna get out of here, because they're kind of, they're kind of melting me. So your crouch button doesn't really do much. It kind of just like oh, makes you lean up and down. Um, I could make you crouch or make you like stretch your. You're always kind of walking in a crouch position. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to like make it so you can lean over. Like I actually did that before, where you instead of crouch you go up and lean over stuff, especially when you're like trying to shoot over things. Um, so you can like vault cover. I added that, but I took it away because the camera. If in third person it looks weird because in third person the, the bullet comes from above you, but oh okay okay I could I could I can edit that though okay okay big boy yeah let's let's uh let's kill this guy <laughs> sorry I need to get out of here. I'm not even really sniping honestly it's so fun to like try to no scope them all I'm not even gonna lie. It's actually kind of more fun that way. Alright. No scoping is not that hard. I mean, it's not the easiest thing, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely there. Except, oh, he stuck me with a frag! They have auto-aim with their frags. That's, like, how they kill you half the time. I can, I can adjust that, but I don't want to make them too weak. Especially because you're not really supposed to engage them close up. Ah, oh, I thought I would hit his leg through him. Double kill. I might make the uh, mules uh, attack the humans because right now they're on our team. I c if I make them kill. civilians, then. I don't know. It, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Right now, they're part of one of their waves. I tried to spawn them separately. I had issues. I might adjust the mule behavior and fix their sound in an update. So don't worry about that. If you have any advice on how to do that uh, better, exactly how, then let me know. Because like I was saying, I spent like a month on this, man. <laughs> like all my free time. And then, oh, and that's why I was saying the sniper or the... Uh, Spartan lasers are awesome because they are actually intimidating because they shoot you from wherever the heck they are. Damn it. I think I'm good with the sniper and then I miss him and I'm like... You gotta take your time a little bit. I added a third scope to this. I could take that away if you want me to. Let me know. I might uh, fix the... Damn it. Oh, 
fuck. Okay, yeah, I might fix the, um, the scope to have three-way scopes, but it's so hard to see. And honestly, like, if you look at, like, where the scope is zooming in, like, it's covering the water, you know, you see just the water and the side, you know, on the top left, the side of the roof, right? If I zoom in again, that's exactly what you see. So I'm like, why would you see that anyways? And zooming into the scope. I don't know. Maybe that makes sense. What do you guys think? Should I keep, make the zoom in go more? Like this does? Or like this does? I could. I just didn't really want to look into it. Uh, mainly because I spent all my time doing other stuff that make the game more fun. But that's something I'll definitely could fix. Whoa. What was he aiming at? <laughs> Oh, oh, I do have a bullet. I do have a bullet. Just enough to kill him. Alright, time to scavenge for something. Ooh, ooh. Oh, nah, but I didn't think he would. Come on. I need to fix the hands for the human. On third person. Lives Otherwise, does that. Robbed. That's the only thing, though. Black like, guy black guy on. Am I, like, weaker with these guns? I, I don't think I am. <laughs> I feel like I was a second ago. Ah, uh, Spartan lasers are too big for you. Can't pick those up. Neither can you early any heavy. So you can still get lives back, you know, from winning rounds. You walk fast because you're a jackal, by the way. I, I I think it's a little lower than the normal jackers, j jacker, jackal speed. It, I almost had it at 200, but there's no in between that. And, um, you know, you got to walk fast to make up for the no shield and crap. Hmm. Ah, he got me in the head. Headshots are vital to you. But that's why you're not supposed to be in range. Oh, uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, I'm pretty much covering most of it, guys. I mean, like, it gets... It gets it's pretty much like this throughout the, the rest of the way. And, to be honest. <laughs> I added these uh, pallets floating in the water. Just, just in case you didn't notice. <laughs> and as you can tell, like I just love going in the map too much. Um, oh, I didn't, when I mentioned earlier that oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, that the the, the guns they're purple. You can see them in the in the, in the brightness a lot better. Um, they look more normal. They might they're a little more pink than normal, but I like that. I like that's that's kind of like my my take on the Covenant. They're always pink and purple. Um, they went from like purple to pink to like. You know, to like blue in this game, and then they kind of made their way back to like a purple violet color, you know. But One still, still, uh, you know, they've always been purple. I like when they're purple. I, if it if it looks blue more than purple, then it's not for me for Covenant. You know, that's I don't know. Yeah. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think again. If you like this, please leave a like, um, and if you downloaded this, please, please leave an endorsement on the Nexus page so it can pump, uh, pump up towards, you know, the mods that actually are relevant and stuff. I would like to get a lot of feedback. I've worked so hard on this. Um, and please like the video if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you want more of this. If you like this stuff, we'll subscribe. You'll get more. Um, I'm going to be modding Halo nonstop. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be working on the next mods will be Hunter, a Hunter mod, and 
and maybe a Destiny or like a Mage or Skyrim type mod, something that's fun and interesting out of the, out of the realm of Halo. I want it to feel fun and, and, and not like this game at all. And then what else is there? Mm, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I will update you guys with previews and other awesome no mods. Rejected Shotgun, he's a he's someone that came out with a really good mod. Um, and I would also like to give a shout out to uh, Zula, uh, Krevel, um, there's Rejected Shotgun, uh, Lord Zed, he created Assembly, which I used to create this map, um, and that was so useful. Game Sheet has inspired me a lot. All those people, all you guys are amazing. And without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this because I hate doing things alone. I, I hate feeling like I'm the only one doing something. It makes me feel like it, no one wants it, you know. But that's why that's why I love this. And shout out to you guys. You guys keep me going. I love the competition too to like you know see like what we could come up with and who can do what. You know I love that push and the rivalry. Um, besides the fact that I don't really look at it that way, but you know everyone wants to make the best coolest mod because we all have a passion for Halo and we we love playing it. It's fun. Um, let me guys <laughs> let me let me end this video, guys. I've, I think I've talked enough. So yeah, that's it. I feel like I just want to say something else, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave it here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Peace out.